guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia if you're brand new to my channel and I'm so glad you made it. I hope you like it and you stick around by subscribing to my channel. Um, in this video I will be working on my office slash my gym, my son's gym. I guess it's our gym too and um, I, let me tell you a little bit. Usually I'm on top of things. I try to get things done on time when they need to be done I have my zones I have my um, like zone cleaning I have my everyday pickup and my little routines that I do in the morning at night but I don't think I was prepared to how I was going to feel in January so January has been a bit of a rough month I don't know whether it was lack of sunshine whether it was we had more cold weather up up until now this winter I really don't know but I am determined to make February so much better and occupy myself with little projects that I I love doing and I have neglected doing um, in January so even though I did few things, it's nothing comparing to what I can do. So, um, yeah, so the first um, big project of the year will be, t like I said, tackling my office. So let me kind of just give you a little bit of an um, overview of what it looks like right now. So just so you kind of see, this is the area where I wor work. It's the daycare. And then over here, so there's the stairs up, there's storage area over there. So this area is the only area that's actually finished besides the ceiling. Um, then we kind of move over into this area. Uh, we've got gym, then I have some stuff that I pulled out that I want to declutter. We've got a heavy bag hanging right in the middle of things then so this is all the heavy bag and this weight stuff is my son's and then there's my coffee table which I do a lot of stuff on which is not working for me and then we just have a TV and a printer here which is kind of mis mismatch of furniture from upstairs then I have a chair that currently has some of my Supply, craft supplies then I have over here my paint my all my DIY projects and my files and all of this is just a big huge mess over here and then over here is my next project which I've been using as a desk which I really shouldn't be doing so I need to move this out of the way get it get it um upcycled which is what i'm planning on doing giving it a new life so and then behind here i'm gonna see if i can move this with one hand oh, is a shelf that technically is supposed to stand upright but it's um i put it down i laid it down so that way i can have an open view of the room and then over here is my desk, which I use every single day. I use it for editing videos. I use it for planning to take, like it's my office desk. So this desk gets used all the time. And then behind here, there's a chair. There's a potty over there, which I'm not gonna show you. And an extra saucer, which I need to put away. That's just for when my nephew comes over cause he's still only 10 months, so. So there's stuff underneath there's like there's just stuff everywhere and then there's a camping chair in the middle here which is actually quite comfortable but anyway so i what i want to do so to give you an to give you an idea as to what i want to do is i want to get rid of the laying down shelf i am convinced that i don't need all the supplies that are on there on hand I can put it I think I can fit the shelf into my craft room the daycare craft room or toy room storage area where I store all the extra crafts and daycare supplies and well let me just show you actually so this is actually organized but this is all the extra toys that I switch around 
and then all of the extra craft supplies that are themed by my themes and then I have this shelf and then I was thinking that I could probably somehow because we don't use that outlet fit that stand-up shelf right here there is a bit of room over here that I could move this over if I need to create a bit more room so that's the plan and then I can put some of this stuff that's on the floor here and also some stuff from that room here that I don't use on a regular basis then over here if I get rid of that I want to move my desk over move this shelf over here and then under the window I want to set up a table I have a folding table that I want to set up where I can do all my DIYs on top of because it's really hard to do them on top of a coffee table because I'm 5'10 and I'm bending down I'm sitting on the ground it's not comfortable so I wanted to take you along on this big project so the first step will be obviously move this out of the way and then uh, work on that shelf come along are you ready for this because I think I am
done. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the office. So here it is all set up. And then taking it over there is the other shelf. I've decided to put it in that corner just because um, it made sense with all my paint that I use on regular basis to be have its own kind of spot instead of the little plastic drawer thingy that it was in. So let me give you a little bit of an overview of what's where. So over here I just have my um, radio. Um, I use it actually as a Bluetooth speaker. I should really go out and get a small one. But uh, I play music for the kids all the time or for myself while I'm working. I do like to have music in the background all the time. So, And then over here I have all of my pictures uh, divided. This is from, oh gosh, I don't even remember, uh, Creative Memories. I don't even know whether they're around both of these. And it is a folder for pictures. So I don't know if you're familiar with this, but I just wanted to kind of show you. So it has like a little divisions and I have all the pictures divided. And that I want to one day get back into scrapbooking i don't know when that's gonna be but one day so anyhow okay so there and then so i'm gonna go across and then down so over here i have all of my stamps uh wooden stamps i do like making cards i do use them for daycare as well when they make cards so i have them all labeled by their um like, uh, you know, holidays, flowers, words, uh, pirates, things like that by their theme, I guess. And then there's more. So these are clear stamps, just assorted. And then more stamps that I have to label. So the, this is, um, I think, like spring, Halloween, and summertime. And then I have all these blocks from... Um, for all my clear stamps I've actually went and got this because I just realized I had it over there and I kind of wanted to keep it all together so um, this is just another set of Easter clear stamps and then over here is a little container that has all of my close to my heart clear stamps I don't, know I, said. I don't even know whether those companies are even around anymore I've had them for so long and then I also have this thing, which is for cleaning, cleaning your sponges, your stamps on, and a little spray in here. So that's that. Then over here, I'm going to keep all my acrylic paints. I actually have to to see what I did. I don't even remember where I put the ones I was cleaning up. So, anyways, but here I have a whole bunch of different colors. I have no idea where I put them. And then um, over here, I'm using it upstairs, but I have a bin with uh, labels, so it's going to go over here. And then in here, I have all of the electrical, uh, like electronic stuff. So I have a box for my camera, and then I have old tablets here, old camera, and then just charging cables. And I kind of try to keep uh, likes in the same bags. Uh, so that way, um, if I need to find ones, it's easy to find. So these are all extra binders. And I have kind of decluttered the cheaper ones from the dollar store because I found that they were falling apart. All the ones that I have kept are the ones that are more expensive that I had bought at Staples. And then here are just some office supplies um some of my page dividers um there's the file divider um labels and stuff like that and then moving over here are binders that i actually use so this is my holiday planner my exercise that i have collected exercises over the years and i actually really enjoy these cards let me just show you what they look like um so my favorite ones are these they came from a fit magazine and I like I use them all the time so I know that there's Pinterest and stuff like that, but 
I've had this binder for, oh my gosh, gosh, I want to say like 20 years and um, it's just a little binder. It doesn't take up too much space. So over here is all my Disney uh, planning stuff because I don't know if any of you know whether I actually shared it. I can't remember, but I am a actual Disney planner. I don't necessarily advertise the business because... It is something that I do very, very, very part-time. I pretty much just do it for people that I know. Uh, occasionally, there have been people from that heard it from other people and have contacted me, but uh, my dad owns a travel agency, so that's how I ended up uh, getting certified and did the course and all that stuff, and because I love Disney. And so um, I have all of my information in here that I need, like login stuff and just information that I need this is my little cleaning binder where I have all of my schedules in this is a big daycare binder that I keep all of my uh, documents that I need but don't need to refer to on a regular basis this is just something that uh, I got from a local newspaper so it's just a picture frame that has my article in it and then I have my so this is an award that I won from before a long time ago and then from the city and then um, my um, college diplomas here because I tend to refer to it when I do interviews for daycare and then this is my Disney planning binder which is my own Disney trip planning binder and I just I have everything set up in here and then I just uh, change up the information that goes in it for each trip. Over here I have um, extra correction tape and then this is I like to do like a little reward system for the kids so I have just little odds and ends in here um, like pencils, stickers, um, little notepads and things like that they can choose from for a reward and then I have Christmas cards and then down here is all of my information for Disney. So I have, um, I pick up maps, I have resort maps, I have park maps every time I go. And then when I am booking a trip for somebody, I um, can give them the maps uh, for them to look over or if we're referring to something so I can show them. This is just a print that uh, I was gifted when you stay at the... Uh, at one of the higher end hotels, they tend to give you some sort of a picture or something and invite you to come to their DVC meeting. And then I just have brochures for Disney World, Disney Cruise, things like that. These are just extra maps that really should go in here or um, that I, because I do write a, a Disney blog as well. So I tend to refer to some of this stuff on a regular basis. And then this is my current scrapbooking project that I'm working on. So it has everything that I need for that project. And it's in the little uh, magazine holder plus the book. Then these are all of my documents, my um, like my registration forms for the daycare extra registration like an original registration form so even though i have it saved in a cloud i have a hard copy in here for everything for my uh, menus my registration forms my handbooks everything's in here i have my kids uh, extra kids school pictures in here i have manuals for all sorts of electronics i have all my information from my um disney clients um I have, uh, what else, what else do I have? Certificates. Uh, I keep all of my kids' certificates here as well because they're trained uh, of training for lifeguarding. So they have all these courses that I have to go through. So I like to keep it all together. So this is like my filing cabinet, but I don't need as many files. I will eventually get a filing cabinet because I think I can probably put that and these documents all in there and some of these in there. So, and then I am thinking I might go out and just get another one of these bins just because this one's 
wrapped and these are all my sleeves and pen, extra pencil cases my just anything that I need for traveling like I have my planner bag here my computer sleeve my iPad sleeves couple extra pencil cases like I said my little pouches that I use for everything in my purse I have these that I used for coupons for my in my purse but I don't anymore and then um, like I said just different pouches that I do use on regular like often so and then in here is all my daughter's uh, scrapbooking stuff that she <laughs> so she's 15 so she doesn't obviously use this scrapbook but she did work on it when she was little so I just wanted to keep it in here then I all have all of our old family movies in here that I will need to get my dad to transfer them onto a DVD eventually so I can actually upload it onto my cloud and then just some pictures that she had chose for scrapbooking in here if she ever were to go back into scrapbooking they're there I don't think she'll use the Dora but and this is all my kids um, school stuff so there's um, extra pictures school pictures there's projects different projects that we kept from school there's um, it's like a almost like a keepsake there's um, all of their report cards are in here so I just keep that in there and these are some overflow of our wedding pictures and then over here are all my camera bags and cameras. And then over here, I just have my planning stickers, the extra planning stickers that I don't use on a regular basis and some washi to extra washi tape. So that's that. Now over here is my desk. I haven't done much on my desk. So I usually have a tabletop calendar. These are my journals and I, do like to read this book every day i have done that for a couple of years and then so i just i have to go through all these pens i have a candle i keep my um planning caddy over here there's some pictures that i was thinking of making like a wall here of pictures oh look there's the paint that need to go in there and then um just my uh forms so I have my daycare interview forms, uh, my daycare planning forms, my, um, what is this one, workout binder, another one, I don't actually use this as a workout binder anymore, and then this is in case if somebody calls uh, for planning, I have printed some of these just to kind of give you which, uh, travel information that I write out for, for people, and then I use this for myself as well. If we're planning on, um, I usually give one of these to my kids and then they write out must do's before my um, fast pass selection. But I also give it to people that I book their trips for to fill out. Um, that way I can um, book their fast passes for them. So this is my old Cricut machine that's plugged in. Some cutting mats. And then this is just a computer holder thingy to elevate it. And then over here, I will be making a video after this one of my dollar store haul. So I put that in here. Some extra boxes I'm going to take into the uh, craft room. And then all of this stuff is actually stuff that I will be either donating or trying to sell. And then coming over here is where I'm keeping my rest of the stuff so up there I just have pic some pictures of when my kids were little and then I have my Cricut cartridges um, the, these are all the different um, these, like scissors that have different they cut in different uh, like zigzag or rounded so they're all in this pen and they fit perfectly in this pen and then I have some sponges and then this is just a little filer and then in here are all my inks for the um, for my stamps and then in here is just chalk that I do um, just like if you if I ever want to fill in uh, when I stamp 
um, I can I use a wet brush and chalk to color it in to paint it in then I have my eyelets some of these um, stencils different stencils here and then also from creative memories I still have these and I don't use them as often but once in a while I will they're just different shapes and then you use a blade to cut around it it's like this whole cutting system that they have and then you use um, I don't actually know where my little oh no it's they should be over here the little blades that I cut with are in here blade cartridge set so there so that's that and then um oh yeah these are what I was thinking about this is what it just tells you which color of the blade to use for which cutter I know the Cricut machine can cut up a lot of my shapes but I haven't bought a new cartridge in a long time because I did down and say I really want the new Cricut but all in good time then I just have some glitters here and some of these pens that you can use with the Cricut machine then I have more of these they're just stamps these actually I use quite a bit for for daycare uh, craft when I'm cutting them out like I have well this is a corner one but there is a like snowflake then I have a leaf so just quick things my embossing and my crinkler so you put a paper here and then you turn it around and crinkles it it's all these scrapbooking supplies and then in here it's almost empty so I will have to go kind of through it but it just had more eyelets um, some buttons and just like embellishment for your um, I actually turn on the light so you can actually see all of this so this is just some uh, like I said embellishments and then I just have more of paper tags and stickers and all that stuff there's more stickers this is actually a binder full of stickers and these are more stamps these are roll-on stamps and um, they'll have like this one has I think this is like a beach theme and you roll it you put an ink in here in there there's like a little sponge and you drop these inks in there and then you make it wet and then when, as you're rolling it on the paper it leaves like a little banner and the banner like I said there's the pirate and I actually use these for my son's um, birthday invitations when he had a pirate party and I rolled them across an invitation it looked like a pirate map just kind of cute stuff and then here I have my uh, uh, tarp that I paint stuff on my rags all of my sanding stuff my emergency sewing kit because I will be getting rid of my sewing machine um, wood glue spray glue crazy glue brushes and then my chalk paints my stains uh, some gloves water this is a if you want like that uh, uh, driftwood look I use uh, this is uh, a concoction that I made to apply to it and then waxes more paint and then there's just some spray paint over there and this is just a color reference for any long chalk paint so I think this is it I think it turned out pretty good I am happy with the, the way it looks I hope this uh, makes my this desk makes my life a little bit easier. So thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, I would love for you to press the subscribe button and stick around and see what my channel is all about. Oh, I forgot actually to give you a little tour of this one. So over here, I have put all of my tools, my mixing tools, paint tools, and then in here is my glue gun stuff, extra wood. So yes. All right, so I think I'm done now. So anyways, like I said, I would love for you to stick around, subscribe, 
and press the notification button so you don't miss out any of my videos and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for watching would have not been able to be here without you guys so until next time have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching Thank you.